we try to use what that cat does naturally the best and then work on that as uh, a well I can't say it's a trick but as a behavior that's controlled that we actually control on the set to do it when the director asks And that, of course, is the challenge facing professional felines. They're called upon to perform on cue amidst the chaos of crews and equipment at that precise moment when the director yells, action. These animals must continue to perform through take after take until the director is finally satisfied. Not every cat will make a good actor. It's a cat that just could care less about any amount of, um, you know, carrying on of stuff. So that cat is really confident and... Um, loves treats and food and if you go over to someone's house and the cat comes right up to you you know starts looking and be patted and stuff that's the kind of cat that's that's really cool for films professional trainers often find their cool cats at the pound hi what's doing mm -hmm. Come on. We look for cats, you know, that are, they're looking for you, you know, they're looking to see who will stick their fingers in and pet them. We look for uh, extrovert cats, you know, that's what we want. Computer technology can now be combined with training to achieve outrageous effects with no harm to the cat. Slight shedding problem? A trainer uses a drop of water to get the cat to shake its head on cue as if it's sneezing. A dummy cat is filmed in the same position as a jet of air blows off artificial fur. Another trained cat is made up to look disheveled and must sit in the same position. When all of the takes are combined and enhanced with the aid of a computer, the cat appears to spontaneously shed en masse. Slight shedding problem? Get a Bissell Plus. While computers can add to the overall effect, they still can't take the place of a well-trained cat. We work with them lots and lots of, of training sessions in a relaxed manner, rather than taking them out and going, now you're getting trained. Um, play. That's it. Good. All right. It took Mo six months to train his incredible cat band. The reward, or pay for a job well done, is a kind word, a loving pat, and food. Food is a way of communicating with the animal. Um, we reward the animal when he's done something right. And the animal, once they've learned that they've communicated with you, it's like you, you watch a little light click on their head and they th think, oh my goodness, this is great. We can communicate. And then they get even more willing to do this. All right. Yes, sir. Oh, boy, we're going to get a raise for you. This clicker provides a link or bridge for the cat between a behavior that is being reinforced and the reward. To the cat, the click means, I did something right. Now I'm going to get paid. With this tool, a trainer can develop, shape, and refine an action. Speak. The thing that's great about a clicker is that you can do it right at that little moment, that tiny moment when the animal has done something that progresses what you're trying to train. So you can take it a little bit further by 
manipulating when you do the clicker. Using praise and reward techniques with a little patience, anyone can train a cat. I think a lot of cats get bored in their homes. They lay around all day, they may play with some cat toys. Training really stimulates them mentally. So they're a lot happier, plus they have something to look forward to doing with their owner. Why don't we start some basic training with him? Okay. All right, and then we'll see about his uh, little biting routine. Okay, all right. How old is Jack? Brian Kilcommons believes training forges a strong bond between a cat and its owner. Jazz, sit high. Said hi. Good. Good. Good kitty. That's it. While it's ideal to work with a kitten, even an older cat, like two-year-old Jazz, can be taught to obey certain commands and correct unwanted behavior. Requirements? A quiet place, several brief training sessions a day, and a hungry cat. Oh, it's a little bit awkward. So you teach him to come to you. Jazz, come. As with the professional felines, a favorite food is used as a lure. The cat begins to connect the command come or sit to the bait. The offer of food is gradually decreased until the cat automatically responds to the command. This usually takes about a week. Jazz, ow. So he does this whenever, sometimes I'll just come home from work and I'll just, I'll start petting him and then he'll just turn on me and start nipping at my fingers. A couple of things. Did you Unfortunately, many owners have unwittingly helped develop some unwanted, aggressive behavior in their pet. John did this by playing roughly with Jazz when he was a kitten. Now the adult cat thinks his owner is one big cat toy. With work, this bad behavior can still be corrected. Okay, and there it goes for the hand. Okay, so you stop. Squirt him. Okay. Good. Very nice. Terrific. This is not a contest, nor is it a battle. Animals don't go out of their way to make our lives miserable. Most of them try to do as much as they can to please us or understand what we want or what we don't want. Hey, Jazz, come. Come, Jazz. Good boy. Good boy. Look at that. Yes. Terrific. You're the best. Terrific. Hey, it's our job, through good hey, training, Jazz. to Sit teach up. them exactly what we want good and boy. what we don't want. That doesn't include any hitting or yelling or pain and intimidation. Right. Yeah, he, it looks like he's learning already. And you can't train a cat, huh? Yeah, well, guess not. <laughs> <laughs> Throw that theory right out the window. I don't think we'll ever fully understand the common cat, which isn't at all common. The more we explore the cat's world, the more we realize we just can't understand everything. The cat is destined to remain mysterious. And I think that's great. I'm Jack Perkins. Thanks for watching. Now, an exclusive offer from A&E Home Video. You can own cats for the new low price of only $19.95 plus shipping and handling. Call 1-800-423-1212 or order online at A&E.com. This A&D documentary special has been brought to you in part by... Now, inside Christianity's holiest shrine and the Earth's smallest nation, the Vatican revealed next on A&E.